I know we could do better than this. Let's see, super concentrated, works overnight. Seems like this stuff should work pretty good, right? If you've struggled with weeds in the past, you've probably bought some of these products from your local big box store and probably haven't had the best success with them. The reason these products don't work is because they're watered down weak versions of the commercial grade heavy duty stuff. Weed Be Gone Max Plus Crabgrass Solution is Ortho's most powerful lawn weed killer. For a lovely weed free lawn. Best applicator ever. <laughs> but it won't harm your lawn, guaranteed. So today I'm gonna to show you two commercial grade herbicides that are used by all the professionals that are guaranteed to get rid of most, if not all of your weed. And when used together, they form a super double kill combo. Scorpion, wind, fatality. And the first one is called Speed Zone, which is one of my favorite general all-purpose herbicides. It kills everything from dandelions to clover to spurge. And what makes this special is that it's a four-way herbicide, which means it has four different herbicides in it that attack a whole bunch of weeds. And the main one in it is called 2,4-D, and it has over 28% in it. Compared to like some of the other ones you get at the store, like uh, Weed Be Gone, that has about six and a half percent in it. So that kind of gives you an idea of why something like this would work better than one of those homeowner version ones. Another thing that makes this super cool is that it's of the ester formulation. And what that means pretty much is that you can use it during the cooler temperatures. Right now, there's like a tornado going on. It's, it's kind of chilly out here. It doesn't look like it, but it's like 55 degrees. This is gonna be an awesome time that we can apply this and so you don't have to worry about it working. With some of the other herbicides that you get, if they're of like the amine formulation, then when you apply that during the cold temperatures, it doesn't work that great. So all the herbicides that are inside Speed Zone are considered broadleaf herbicides. So they're gonna do a better job at attacking like leafy type weeds. So if they look like they belong in a salad bar, this is gonna do a good job killing it. But let's say for like grassy type weeds, like buffalo grass, barnyard grass, crab grass, then this is not what you're gonna to wanna to use. But we have something coming up for that that we're gonna mix with it that is gonna make it the ultimate combination. All right, so now that we have all the leafy type weeds covered, what are we gonna do about the grassy weeds like crabgrass? Well, we're gonna use this herbicide right here called Tenacity. For best results, spray when weeds are actively growing with daytime temperatures between 45 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. What this is, not only is it a post-emergent, which means you can apply it directly to the weeds and it'll kill them, but it also acts as a pre-emergent. So once it gets into the soil, it'll prevent weeds from coming up. Now it's not gonna work as long as like your traditional pre-emergents like Dithiapy or Prodiamine or like the Scots Halts. That, those usually last a couple months. With this, you're gonna get maximum of about 30 days coverage of pre-emergence control. But today we're focused on applying it as a post-emergent, which means we're gonna apply it directly to the leaves of the weeds. See, tenacity is really interesting herbicide because it prevents photosynthesis in the plant. And as a result, there's a loss of chlorophyll. So after you make your application, don't be surprised if you see a bunch of white spots around your lawn. That just means that it's actually working. Hey, look, it's Ron. One sec. Hey, what's up, Ron? Hey, George. Yeah, awesome job on the video, man. I like the combination of using Tenacity and Speed Zone. But hey, remember, for any of your warm season viewers, don't forget to tell them to not spray Tenacity on their lawns this time of year. Dude, that is an excellent point. What would you recommend for the warm season folk? Eh, if I could only have one, probably Celsius. You figure you can spray it as temperatures go up. It's got decent grassy weed and broadleaf coverage. If you only have one post-emergent herbicide, probably Celsius. Sweet, dude. Ron, you always come through with the hookup, man. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Yeah, no worries at all, man. Always happy to help out. I'll let you get back to it. Ron is the man when it comes to warm season grass. So you, any of you guys that live down south, make sure you go give him a follow. But we're not done yet. There's two more things I wanna to add to the mix. Number one is the surfactant. This could make or break your application, so try not to skip out on it. What the surfactant is gonna do is it's essentially gonna make the herbicides extra sticky. So when we do this broadcast application, the herbicide is gonna actually stick to the leaves of the weeds. Have you ever seen when you water a plant, sometimes the water will just beat up on the plant and roll right off? Well, essentially what this is gonna do is it's almost gonna make the water kind of thinner. And when it gets sprayed onto the leaves of the plant, it's gonna coat the whole thing evenly and it's gonna stay on it. Over here, I have this clip slowed down to 120 frames per second. And you can see very clearly when I spray the herbicide onto the leaf of the weed, it fully coats it and none of it gets beaded off and falls down. And this is because of what the surfactant is doing to it. So really this is gonna be a key item in our application. All right, the next thing we're gonna put into the mix is this blue dye. Now this part is optional, but let me tell you, 
since we're mixing up five different herbicides that are going to be combining together you're definitely going to want to use some kind of blue dye because if you start making your passes and you start overlapping without knowing it then you could potentially do harm to your grass and we definitely don't want to do that i've made so many weed control applications and i could tell you when i apply these kind of combinations i still use a blue dye all right so before we get started i want to show you a few of the weeds that i'm tackling today mostly it's crabgrass dandelions thistle so get a good look at what the weeds look like now because I'm going to show you what they look like a few days after the application. Now the type of application that we're doing today should only be a last resort. Remember the best way to get rid of weeds in your lawn is to prevent them to begin with. The effects you're seeing now are mostly the speed zone because that stuff pretty much works overnight. As far as the tenacity goes, it usually takes about a week or two to start seeing results. So if you don't see things bleaching out right away, don't get concerned because usually it can take some time to start seeing that. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about herbicides lately, so I want to go over a few of them just in case you're curious as well. Over here, I could see the first one is how long after application could my dog go in the yard? So the rule of thumb is with these herbicides that we did today, you just want to wait, make sure that they're fully dry. And once they are, then you can go ahead and let your dog in the yard, no problem. So also another question that I've been getting lately is how long do I have to wait to reapply? So with these herbicides that we made today, just give it about a month or so, give or take a week, depending on how bad your situation is, and you'll be all good, ready to go to do another application. Just make sure that you don't apply it when the temperatures are over like 85 to 90 degrees. So hey, all you guys that ended up staying till the end of the video, I just wanted to say a super fat thank you. The channel just hit 10,000 subscribers and we're growing nonstop. So in celebration, I wanted to do a giveaway. I got this My Soil test kit here. My Soil ended up sending it to me, but I already did my soil test for this season. So any of you guys that might be on the fence about doing a soil test or don't want to drop the money, here's a good chance for you to try it out. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment below and tell me what your favorite herbicide is to use throughout the season to help control weeds. But hey, if you found any value in this video, hit that thumbs up button. And with that, this is George from Princess Cut. Peace. <laughs>